What's going on, Chill Army? DeAndrox7 here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Anime Episode Reviews. Today, we're going to be going over Pokemon Journeys Episode 77, Super Electromagnetic Ultra Class Battle. Now, of course, there are going to be some major spoilers, so if you guys watch the dub or you guys just aren't caught up to Pokemon Journeys yet, please do not watch this video, but if you don't care about spoilers or you guys are caught up to the current episode of Journeys, feel free to continue watching. Going over our major events, Ash and Go visit Sinnoh again, Ash meets Volkner again, Ash is revealed to have retrieved his Z Power Ring and Pikachunium Z, Ash has a World Coronation Series match against Volkner and wins, bringing his rank to 64, and Cynthia is revealed to be participating in the World Coronation Series and be in the Master Class. Now on to the review. Episode 77 was a reasonably crucial moment for Ash's climb to the highest of the World Coronation series, because it involved his first proper match of the Ultra class against the Sunny Shore Gym Leader Volkner, alongside the return of the Z Power Ring and the 10 million volt Thunderbolt Z move from the Sun and Moon series in Ash's arsenal. On the whole, this was an absolutely fantastic first episode for the new class, or at least one that might be so if it weren't for one huge major issue that heavily colors it. The very fact that Ash and Volkner are already approaching the battlefield and also the match begins just some minutes into it also allows for the battle to be long and elaborate in a way prior Journey's battles couldn't be, making great use of the 3 on 3 format to both showcase more than two of Ash's Pokemon and to permit for a solid amount of switching and and interplays that help the momentum of the battle feel varied and constantly moving. I also quite appreciated the ultimate note that highlighted how Cynthia is a component of the Masters 8, on top of showing a number of the higher ranked trainers Ash may eventually face observing the results of the match, giving a pleasant tease of the longer term of this tournament. Ash mostly reacts as he should, and also the way he resized momentum was fairly well executed without feeling abrupt. In terms of his Pokemon, while it's a shame that Gengar ended up not scoring any victory again, I did appreciate that the episode still took the time to indicate him forcing Volkner to find a tough counter to bring him down and resisting for quite a while against Fan Rotom, all the same managed to not make him feel like the resident weakling, albeit I do hope he'll have longer to shine again in future battles. Lucario instead gained some good spotlight in his first official battle as a fully evolved Pokemon, not only scoring the primary victory that starts turning the tide of the match, but also tying against the Volkner's Luxray with a clean slate for Pikachu to close the match, managing to offer a solid contribution to the battle without coming across as too overpowering. On the whole, however, the way this battle ended does point out a significant problem inherent in Journeys, because it involves the usage of the Z-Move and also the way continuity was used here, with the Z-Move overpowering Electivire's motor drive and damaging him enough to bring him down, granting Ash the victory. I can see what the aim of this scene was, a rule of cool moment about Ash overpowering an ability that ought to negate electric attack by putting in place the Z-Ring's presence ahead of time, showing Motor Drive, and then defying it. And there is nothing wrong with closing a battle with one such moment. Now, I'll concede that Ash and Pikachu both eager to win with the strongest electric move they have is pretty in character, even if it's weird to use that as reasoning instead of something more connected to the Z-Move specific previous episode that directly connected to this one. The choice, however, feels somewhat arbitrary given outside of a cameo in episode 2, this wasn't a part of Journeys thus far, meaning on a standalone sense, it's just introduced here properly, and on a continuity sense, Everyone who'd be pleased to see it is already attentive to how the Pikachunium Z has never failed within the prior series, meaning that it seems like a sudden power-up for current viewers and an easily predictable win for older ones. The episode does admittedly limit the elephant in the room by implying this was a one-off for this specific encounter that's not going to be referred to for further matches beyond this, but if it does end up being an on-and-off element for the Ultra class, it does have the danger 
to replicate the identical problems of this episode all over again. As it is, while I still find most of the battle absolutely fantastic with a number of the best action and journeys thus far, the ending creates a significant issue by misusing continuity most lazily and predictably and ultimately makes Ash seem weaker than the story intended him to be for what's ultimately a whim. Perhaps future episodes may paint a far better picture for the Ultra class, but it is a shame to see an otherwise quite solid starting episode run into a fairly heavy stumble that did not even feel necessary. So I would love to give it a 10 out of 10, but because of that one major issue I have, I'm gonna have to dumb it down to a 9 out of 10. That's going to be it for this week's episode of Pokemon Anime Episode Reviews. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smick these smack that like button as it really helps this video out with the algorithm. And if you guys want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon. It's 100% free and be sure to check out all of my other content as well. But until then, I love you all and I'll see you guys on the next video. Only good, chill army. Oh.